Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 5th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, large plasma filament from the bottom left-hand side and the bottom right, leaving the surface of our sun. No major solar flares to speak of, but we do have eight active sunspot regions. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have quite a bit of activity cresting right now, and as well, many Earth-facing sunspots. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, this is where we saw that large plasma filament lift away, right there. And pretty much injected into that northern sunspot region. Looking at multi-spectrum, the last 48 hours of events. Huge plasma whip there. Plasma filaments in the northern hemisphere as well. Going to be watching those over the next 48 hours. As for every action, there was an equal and opposite reaction. Two coronal holes getting ready for an earth-facing position. Having a look at 171 angstroms here. This is where we can see our heliosphere in an action. And again, no major solar flares thwarted our way. Space weather conditions do remain low right now. But I think that is about to change here over the next week with all this sunspot activity cresting in. Having a look at the sunspot regions here. There are eight active sunspot regions right now. Four in the northern hemisphere, four in the southern. Two of them turning away, many coming in. Space weather conditions do remain low right now. Solar X-ray flux remains in a low B range. Strong C-class solar flare, only one reported the last 48 hours. Geomagnetic activity, KP4 topped out last night. Real-time solar wind sitting at 379 kilometers per second after being up and over about 450 kilometers per second. This is the last two days of events. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing 1C me taking off there towards Parker Solar Probe and as well Mercury. Quick refresher there and we've got two more pulses that took off from the same region towards Parker Solar Probe and Mercury. Yellow is Earth, that little yellow circle. Looking at NOAA Space Prediction Spiral versus the ISWA. No major space weather events expected here. A little glancing blow from recent events. That's it. Having a look at Alaska 2, showing the last 48 hours of imagery. See me taking off from the bottom right-hand side there. And that is the one that gave us a glancing blow from two days ago. Heading in now. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as it has been pretty busy, setting at about 230 earthquakes, according to USGS. We're going to start out here with the largest 5.8 Bellany Islands region, as well Macquarie, Macquarie Islands region, 5.3 magnitude. Deepest earthquake the last two days, 4.6, 460 kilometer depth there, Fiji region, 5.2 there, Papua New Guinea. Lots of activity through the Banda Sea and Indonesia. Fours. Fours through Guam. 5.0 there off the coast of Taiwan. And as well, notable activity up and off the coast of Honshu, Japan. 4.5 and a 4.4 there today. Overlooking Alaska, there's a lot of activity through... Um, Alaska and Northwest Territories through Yukon over the United States. Interesting and rare earthquake here in the Gulf of Mexico, a 3.3 earthquake reporting there in Venice, Louisiana, just off the coast 
of Louisiana, 3.3 magnitude, strange place for an earthquake. 4.2 earthquake there reported uh, Bahamas and as well 4.1 there Haiti, lots of activity through Puerto Rico. 4.2 earthquake there Mexico, just north of Popocatépetl, who has been very active as of late. Quick browse here at Canadian earthquakes as we had the last little while. We've seen lots of seismicity through Alberta and as well northern BC, off the coast of BC, and as well activity down into Quebec. Most recent activity there through Saint Laurent Champ. Look at all this minor activity. All of the orange and red are the most recent. Up into Whitehorse, Northwest Territories, a couple strong ones there as well. But notable there, Grand Prairie. Interesting seismicity and as well, peculiar wildfires breaking out across northern Alberta, northern BC this year. Unprecedented wildfires across Canada right now. Overlooking South America, largest through the region, 5.0 in Peru, deepest being a 4.0 there, San Antonio de los Cobros, 270 kilometer depth. As well, notable here off the African plate, Somalia, 4.6 earthquake, 4.6 there, Turkey. But off the Arabian and African plate, this has been an active region as of late. Looking at about a dozen earthquakes in the past three or four days. Gotta wonder what's going on there and across our world right now as we're heating up. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Largest being the 6.3 south of New Zealand. Increasing activity across the North American plate. Peculiar activity around the Gulf and into Mexico. And as well, the earthquake swarm that still continues the Arabian plate into the African plate. Heads up, stay aware, prepared. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery. Most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at Dokono in Indonesia. As well, Reventador in Ecuador. Nevados de Ruiz, Colombia. Sabincaya in Peru. Sangay in Ecuador. 267 active hazards. And a lot of them are wildfires as Canada is seeing an unprecedented wildfire season already, burning hundreds, thousands of hectares across Canada already. Look at this through Quebec, parts of Northern Ontario. There's about a hundred wildfires that have been burning out of control here the last couple days. And I have been showing satellite imagery and as well through Northern Alberta, Fort Chip, as well Wood Buffalo, Alberta, Northwest Territories, and as well, Peace River. A couple new fires sprouting today. You guys do have a big low-pressure system coming in through BC. It's going to bring some moisture, a little bit of relief. Stormy conditions across Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Even had a tornado warning through Saskatchewan. Having a look here at satellite imagery showing all of the wildfires that are burning across Quebec right now. This was imagery from today. Look at all that wildfire smoke. And as well, the two new fires that broke out today. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that's been affected so far by wildfires across Canada. As this has been a very hot and dry start to summer. And expect that to continue over the next little bit. No moisture really expected for Ontario. And here's some systems moving through the north, Alberta, and as well, BC. Showing the most recent fires that were breaking out there. And you can see where these fires were burning. We've got our scorched earth. It is scarred. 
Alberta has been scarred by wildfires, as well as northern BC, and now Quebec and Ontario. Here's overlooking northern Alberta with that big system moving in right now. Some relief for parts of northern Alberta, but not enough relief for Quebec. Having a look here at the temperature for the next little bit. Forecast heading into the next seven days. Things are going to continue to be warm across the west. And as well, Gulf states up into Texas, up to 39 degrees Celsius this week. 28s and 30s in the long range up into next Monday. And that's when we'll see a little bit of moisture as well. But very dry El Nino. Thank you very much. Huge high pressure ridge off the Pacific coast. Two low pressure systems here affecting Canada. One affecting the Atlantic provinces. And then into Quebec. The other one moving north into the Hudson Bay area. And that watch for scattered thunderstorms. Daytime evaporation across western United States, Pacific Northwest, and then finally this low pressure system develops for Sunday into Monday. And there's our little bit of moisture for Ontario and as well parts of northeastern United States. Another low moving in long range forecast through Saskatchewan, Manitoba. Overlooking the Atlantic, no major hurricanes in the forecast, but strong lows off the coast of Spain. And as well, one wedged between two high-pressure systems through the Mediterranean, Europe. Most of the moisture heading towards the United Kingdom this week. And then watch as that huge low develops through the North Atlantic. Strong winds associated with that. Daytime evaporation rains across Central Africa. Overlooking the West Pacific, the West Indies, East Indies, sorry. We've got two tropical systems, three tropical systems possibly forming there for Sea of Oman and as well Myanmar. And then another typhoon just missing Japan. Strong system affecting New Zealand. Long range forecast, high pressure ridge moving out for Australia but big low pressure system infecting southern parts for the next few days. And then high pressure ridge moves in. And that's a look at world weather brought to you by windy.com. Let's have a look at the air quality for the next three days. This is a forecast as we do have a lot of smoke heading in from Quebec towards Ontario and United States, Eastern United States, and as well, quite a bit of smoke coming out of Alberta, White Horse. Quick browse here at the rest of the world for SO2 right now. SO2 forecast mainly showing SO2 emissions from volcanoes and as well, wildfires. Canada. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by this unprecedented wildfire season. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Please share this video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.